like it. I'm so happy to be here. It feels so good to be in an island that's sort of desolate from the rest of the world. I'm just heading towards the public bus I'm going to take into town. It's $3. Okay, so I am here and I have dropped my biggest backpack at the Airbnb that I'm staying at. I got this really cute Airbnb. It was on the order of $100 a night. A little expensive, but in a place like this, I think it's really a nice way to do things. And um, I was waiting for the bus, which I thought was coming right away, so I ran to the bus stop and I ended up waiting almost an hour for it. I guess I just missed it or maybe it doesn't run this early. I don't know. But I saw it going the other way. And there was this nice man who saw me waiting there for a long time. He passed by a few times and then on his way back, he offered me a ride. And I took it because he seemed like a really nice guy, really concerned about me in the heat, even though I had my umbrella. And I figured, you know, what kind of terrible stuff can happen in the middle of the day? It's probably not the right attitude, but he was this nice man. His name was Happy, and he made me really happy. And now I'm headed to town, just exploring. I'm gonna pick up a bike I rented to get all over the island. And I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm just wandering. I just got to a dead end, so I should really look at a map, but it feels so good to just be in an island, not in New York. And I'm really excited just to explore, take it easy, and refresh. through a natural conservatory and I stopped here at this beautiful lake slash stream situation. It's really beautiful and peaceful. I saw some herons earlier. Uh, it's pretty sunny uh, but the weather is very cool and crisp and there's like no one on this trail which is perfect. a rest here at this like boat launch bay area. I saw some signs that suggest that maybe it's private property but hopefully they won't kill me for being here. There's no one else here and it's really peaceful and there's some shade so I might have a little snack before I head back because I haven't had anything for lunch. It's nice to just enjoy the quiet and the waves. without a lighthouse and I've come to my first lighthouse. So when I got to the lighthouse today, I put in the map how to get back on the bike and it was an 11 mile bike ride back to the B&B &B. and 
So that makes me estimate I biked a total of like 22 miles today to the lighthouse and back because I took like the exact same route there and back except for I got a little lost on the way there. So, oh my god, I've never biked so much. It's almost a marathon. I've run a marathon before, but I had to train for it. My butt is so sore from that bike seat and I'm just tired and sore all over. Hopefully a good meal and a good night's sleep will fix me. I brought a lot of food with me. This whole bag is just food. I also brought a pot <laughs> to cook the food in with a uh, electric water boiler, which I'm really excited about, never used before. My breakfast just arrived here at the Airbnb. It's a spinach egg wrap, chocolate croissant, and yogurt parfait, and of course, big canister of coffee, which I'm gonna need because I'm doing another long bike ride today. I'm going all the way to the western, southwestern point of Nantucket to a beach called Matadec Beach. I think that's what it's called. And uh, it's going to be a long bike ride, not as long as yesterday, 22 miles yesterday, it's going to be closer to 13 miles, but after yesterday, it's going to be a lot total, so I'm going to need my energy. because they have a lot of open green plains and these really tall trees that are bushy at the top and skinny at the bottom and a lot of spiky looking plants. So it feels like you're in another world on the way up here. And the 6.3 mile bike ride is not so bad if it weren't for the fact that the seat is kind of uncomfortable after like five miles. But I don't have to worry about that now. All I have to do now is relax. here and the water is in fact chilly but the sun is so hot so I put on my bathing suit and I'm definitely gonna try swimming even though no one else is swimming at least there's some people to call emergency if I drown I'm not putting that in my mom will die but it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, that water was just cold enough to really like wake me up in a way that the coffee couldn't do. It was just like my whole body feels rejuvenated now 
it's got to have some healing properties, right, from all that biking, so it's probably good for me. It's like free cryotherapy. I saw a freaking seal in the ocean. At first I was like, is that driftwood? But then I saw it poke its head up and look around. And I'm like, oh my God. I couldn't capture it that well on the camera because it was far away. And by the time I got close, it would be farther. It's like, it's still over there somewhere, but it's super far, but that was so cool. in harmony. It started getting kind of crowded at the beach. And I'd been there a couple hours already anyway, so I decided to leave. I'm biking back into town, but on my way, I'm stopping at this place called Tepansi Links. It's a beautiful area, apparently, with uh, hiking. It used to be a golf course, but now it's conservation. And it doesn't seem too crowded. It didn't seem that crowded on the way out, so I'm going to check it out. So I looked at the map, there are a few trail options, but I decided to take the one that takes you to the Nantucket Sound Overlook. That sounds very beautiful. Hopefully it's not too far. I don't know how far it is. I saw a couple getting ready to go on the hike. They didn't know either, they were asking me. So check it out. This trail reminds me a lot of a cool trail I took on Block Island, which is part of Connecticut. And uh, it also had a path that was sandy and went to like a bluff overlook of the ocean. So we'll see how this compares. That one had snakes on it. I saw a snake cross my path there. So now I'm super worried. Also ticks are a possibility. Oh my God. All right, this is pretty beautiful. This vantage point actually gives a pretty good view of the beach near where I'm staying, which is not that far. Wow, that was the easiest little trail with a uh, beautiful lookout. Uh, I took a loop actually, so I had a little bit different view on the way back, but it's mostly like Serengeti looking fake cactus pine trees, and then that beautiful overlook where you can see downtown really well, and it was nice. A lot of sun though. I'm ready to, <laughs> ready to get in the shade. Well, that's it for my bike exploration from east to west of Nantucket. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to do another video next week exploring the more downtown area of Nantucket. So if you want to see that, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, bye.